Yo, thank you for staying with me on Serious Matters. Um, but concerning Boko Haram, Sheikh Hao, who is um, the, um, the leader of the Boko Haram sect, is ready to surrender. Who is saying that to us? The military is saying that. Remember that I did a video some, you know, a few days ago talking about his intentions um, to surrender and already looking for, um, you know, safe landing. And of course, we have been, people have been trying to relate, you know, the surrendering of this man and this sect at this time with certain events that have taken place, you know, lately. Now, the military authority said yesterday that with a grand offensive mounted by the AF and forces of Nigeria against Boko Haram and Islamic State of West Africa province, Iswab, Iswab the body language of terror leader, Abubakar Sheikh, how is that? That of surrender. They also confirmed the killing of key Boko Haram commander during a strike on, I mean, Dobada, Bono State. Bono State. The defense headquarters also said um, it had produced 18,000 hand sanitizers and ventilator machines um, in the province in support of government's effort to prevent, contain COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you very much. In addition to doing your work outside there, you, are still, you still have enough time to help to, you know, curb this um, pandemic that is hitting the world. Thank you very much to the military. It, can on, it, can, it called on federal and state government to patronize the products produced by Defense Ministry, um, uh, the Defense um, Ministry Industries Corporations of Nigeria, DICON, or DICON, to enable mass production. Speaking at a briefing in Abuja, attendance, uh, attended by the leadership of DICON, led by Major General Victor Ezebo, the coordinator of the director Directorate of Defense Media Operations, Major General John Eneche, said while there was no official contact with the terror leader, his body language showed that he was ready to surrender. He added that Boko Haram had been directly degraded by the ongoing pounding of its forces and structure. If you talk about body language, the body language is there. If he makes any moves in that regard, you will know. But from the onslaught from troops, they can't hide anymore, he said. Well, that is good news coming from that end. We hope that happens very, very soon and very quickly. Thank you very much. God bless you. Bye-bye. Looking at all the decisions taken by the Matul Nasser Islam and the opinions expressed by our emirs, our ulamas, we came to the conclusion the, the committee on COVID-19 of both system will sit down again with the cross-section of our ulamas and clergymen to come up with clear guidelines for the partial lockdown of both state because we have the resurgence of what is happening in Kano and our neighbors and even within both, even as we are meeting, I understand that we have another case that has been mentioned and that have been found to be positive among the WHO staff. So we now have three active cases.